back. Welcome to Ozarks Live. Thanks for joining us once again. And you're looking very Thanksgiving over there. I'm very orange and brown and harvest ish. Yes. Very harvest. Yes, thank you. So you're flying the Thanksgiving colors. I am, and can I show you another color that I'm flying? I got a new yeah. mask, and I'm super proud of it. You guys know I'm a fanatic for Tab. Remember Tab Cola? Hello. Isn't that cute? Flying the flag. If I can't have my tab, at least I have my tab mask. Now you know? that's one of those things we should have mentioned on the question earlier this week. Something that people are, you know, so enamored of that I just don't get. Uh huh. Tab would be one of them. Tab those. is one of them. I think Coca Cola agrees with you. I think they're like, there's not that many of them out there that we yeah. should keep it going. Did I tell you I wrote to them though? Yes, you, yes, you well, did. Well, they wrote me back and they said, um, we'd like to send you a token of our appreciation, which, by the way, Coca Cola, I don't have it yet. So yeah. come on. I don't, not, don't, oh, you don't know what it is. You don't know what it is either. No. Probably the leftover tab. I was hoping. You. That would. I'm sure that's what. Do you know? I asked them. Truck I pulls up in front of your house. Whatever. I mean, it's too expensive. People who are selling it on Amazon and eBay and all of that. It's just ridiculous. It's like insanity. I have two cans left, and I've told my kids that they will have to move out. Do not touch those cans. I don't know when I'm going to have them. You know, but I, I would. You need to. They, you, they should be in a shadow box, a frame, something. maybe a safe. They maybe, yeah. So I, I don't know when I'm going to get those. But I actually pitched to the Coca-Cola company. I said, now, here's an idea. What if you just sold your little formula syrup to like Soda Stream, right? So the rest of the people who have Soda Stream can actually make a tab at home. And they did not respond to that. So. I have a feeling the reason they didn't respond is because. Coca-Cola bottling company looks at you as one of those wing nuts. I, I know what I'm doing. I have great ideas, Coca-Cola. I'm not saying you don't. I'm but full of ideas. They go, ideas. oh, yeah, she's back. Woo. Yeah, there she is again. We've heard about this one. I, I can't help myself, but right. I tried. We have a great show for you guys today before Thanksgiving. You know, before it gets here, yep. Karen Fouch from the Humane Society is here, and she has another Furry friend with her. Yeah, and they go quick when they come on Ozarks Live. Yes, they they do. get adopted real quick, so yes. we're going to see who's going to get a new home maybe today. Plus, it is time for Joy's Book Club, and I could not be more excited. I love Book Club. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not to mention, we get to talk with our friends from Price Cutter, Gardens Aglow Entertainment tonight. Yeah, a whole lot more than that, too. But before we get to all that, of course, we have to show you on our radar. All right. We all know gingerbread houses are so popular this time of year. You know, you get the kits and right. your kids make them. And anyway, I've got something even better, I think, anyway. Let's take a second and see what you think. Ever hear of charcuterie houses? No. Okay, well, think about that. I mean, what's the matter with that? Who doesn't love a good charcuterie tray? So that's a big deal this year. People are actually replacing the um, <laughs> gingerbread houses, swapping out the cookies and the candies for cheese, cold cuts, and veggies. Now, with this one, if you look really closely, I'm seeing sort of like breadsticks, pretzels. It looks like a salami rooftop. Maybe some uh, almonds and grated Parmesan for the base and some fresh rosemary for the trees. These people work pretty hard. Yeah. Um, there's even a name for these, charcuterie chalets. <laughs> right? Okay. People are getting really creative. Now, just remember, of course, you need to keep this refrigerated. Yeah. And the second it's people start to not eat on the house again, you need to put it back in the fridge. Uh, but it could be fun to figure it all out. You know, the placement of all the things like the olives, the pistachios, and... Um, you can get as creative as you want, but you know, don't bother with all of that if you don't want to, because I will take a good charcuterie tray any way yeah. I can get one, even if all of that is still in the packaging. It's really not that big a deal. No, gingerbread house is like, okay, I can understand why you do that and all that. But this, I'd have the tray of the stuff in front of me. I don't, you'd have maybe a charcuterie what outhouse it would only be real <laughs> yeah. little it's not it's know, not that garage. big a deal but people are making it a big deal so if you <laughs> right. have one or you All make right. one send us a picture we'd love to see it and keep it away from the dog yeah Hansel and Gretel would have been much healthier if that witch had a charcuterie shell wouldn't they instead of the candy house. whole different yeah. outcome yeah all right disclaimer alert there's a dad joke coming your way not at, not in the story after right. after the story so don't say I didn't warn you. Just great. Now, as we travel, we often see road signs that can confuse us or you know, even make us laugh. Well, this one will do both. 
Officials in Jasper, Alberta, Alberta, Canada, have posted signs telling people, do not let moose lick your car. Yeah, let, let that sink in for a minute, all right? Well, well, this is a bit confusing, and it will at least get a chuckle out of you, but it, it's for a good reason. The idea is to keep the vehicles and moose at a safe distance from each other so the moose don't get a taste for road salt mm. that always ends up covering the side of cars during this time of year. See, moose need salt for the minerals, which they usually get from salt lakes in the area. But now they are realizing they can get road salt from the sides of cars, so they lick cars. <laughs> yeah. As a word of caution, Jasper National Park spokesman Steve Young says, moose and cars are not a good mix. If you hit the moose, you take the legs out from under it, and it's going through your windshield. Mm, that's dangerous. Yeah, like a half ton of moose, which is not good for your car or the moose. Or so, you. Yeah. <laughs> the idea, <laughs> yeah, uh, the idea in Jasper is stay away from the moose. Don't let them lick your car. As dangerous as they can be, they will be worse if they become a carnivore. Mm. I warned you. I warned you. I was braced for it. I warned you. There it was. Carnivore. All right, I got one for you. An yeah. attempt to make you laugh a little bit this Thanksgiving and maybe give yourself a break. All right? I just love looking into some of the stupidest questions <laughs> that the folks manning the Butterball Turkey Hotline. Yeah have to put up with every single Thanksgiving, and there are some doozies. Uh, first, a little history. Did you know the hotline started back in 1981? I thought it was earlier than that. Me but too. apparently, in 1981, six home economists worked the phones, and they answered 11,000 calls. Six? They apparently said, uh, we, I guess for days and days and days and days, that's what it said. These <laughs> six, either they did it themselves or they said, we need all y'all, okay, to get in here and help us answer the phone. 11,000 wow. calls. I hope a third of them at least were 450 degrees. Click 450. No That's... kidding. All right. Now, Jeez. but for those of you who want to ask a question, you can ask Alexa what to do. Take a look. Every year, Butterball tries to reach people in a new and exciting way, and this year we're doing that through Alexa. Alexa, open the Butterball skill. Hi, I'm Marge, a Butterball Turkey Talk Line expert. You can ask about planning, preparing, cooking, or enjoying a turkey. What can I help with? Butterball used real Turkey Talk Line experts myself and my friends Marge and Christopher. I'm very excited about this skill. You are going to get about 36 years of experience when you talk to Alexa. Alexa, ask Butterball how long should I cook the turkey? How do I stuff my turkey? What is the bag inside my turkey? Our main mission, every last one of us, is to be the helpful voice. We're here for you, and we're going to help you host like a boss. You can get the Butterball skill on any of your Alexa-enabled devices. You can also call us at 1-800-BUTTERBALL, text us, or visit us at butterball.com. All right, so don't be afraid to ask Alexa, although this is interesting. You might want to do it on your phone, in a closet, out in the garage, okay? Well, here's the thing. Apparently, the hotlines report a lot of whispering callers who don't know admit that they don't want to admit they don't know what to do. <laughs> so yeah. somebody will be upstairs going, my daughter-in-law swears up and down you're supposed to do so-and-so, and I think she's wrong. And they're like, no, you're, she's actually right. Uh -huh. And then they go down there, and they make amends, and they get along. So it's really interesting the things they put up with. Another person wanted to know, seriously, a caller, would it make sense to throw the turkey in the hot tub or the swimming pool to thaw it out? Or even wrap it in an electric blanket? I'm guessing people would say no. Uh, a burned turkey is one thing, but a lost turkey can happen. One user claimed that they set the turkey in the yard to thaw. Oh, gosh. <laughs> then after a huge snowfall, they couldn't find it. So everybody was out there digging for it. Interestingly, apparently a neighbor dog carried it off. Really? So, yeah, not it's a like good idea. like the Bumpus's dog came it's, and ate all the turkey. Like, what the heck? I know. Um, <laughs> one longtime turkey expert, maybe Marge, maybe not, yeah. says a family called panicked. This turkey has no meat. They had roasted this turkey upside down. So they said, oh, well, just what does it look like? And they described it and they said, flip it over. And then they were like, oh, thank you. We're good now. Thanks. 
<laughs> yeah. So another man wanted to know about planting an engagement ring inside the turkey. You. To propose. Thanks, but no. You put it um, on the leg. Well, <laughs> the lady at the, the the hotline lady goes, why don't you just do it the old-fashioned way? Get down on one knee and, and have a box with the ring. Yeah, and wouldn't that? Wouldn't you love that? You know, if if that was your memory of being no. asked to be married, yeah. I, Pulling out the stuffing and there's the yeah, end. No. Oh my gosh, can you imagine? And um, there's a chance of swallowing. Some people call it. wanting to know how do you cook potatoes. It's like this is not the potato hotline. Um, due to smaller gatherings and first time cooks, they're already being inundated with calls. And of course, the call center people are actually at home. Yeah. But uh, ask Alexa, you can text them. I actually put that in my phone just in case. Uh, Butterball.com, 1 800 Butterball. Yes, unwrap the turkey. And if you haven't thought it yet, you're too late. There you go. There's my two cents worth again. You need an acetylene torch to thaw it out by now. <laughs> okay. Coming up, we have another visit from our friends at the Humane Society, and you know it's going to be fun. It's a good-sized dog coming in here. I just spotted it. Don't go away. We'll be right back.